Kelsey Odom from KVRX Austin, 91.7 FM, and I'm joined with Davey from Captain Jazz. Hello. Did I say that right, Captain? Yeah, um, I think so. I think it's freeform now. It's not really a band anymore, so now it's like, you know, maybe it's evolved. I don't even know. What is your role in Captain Jazz, musically and socially? Uh, wow. Well, musically, I just play guitar. Um, I joined the band in 1994, and so I'm the new guy. And uh, we took 15 years off, and now I'm still the new guy. Uh, socially, uh, I play the all-American normal guy, because like the weirdness quotient in our band is so like amplified that like as odd as I maybe am, I like couldn't be more normal in this setting. So like. I like converse with people and like am able to like communicate with my band members. So uh, I take on all of those active roles of like figuring basic things out <laughs> and like sharing them amongst the band members. Yeah, it's it's under uh, it's underrated as a quality. So this is your last show of the reunion tour, um, and that obviously means you're not going to record any more music as Captain Jazz. Do you think you could, if you wanted to, write and produce music as Captain Jazz with the same spirit and energy as 15 years ago? Uh, I was like a yes until you finished it with like the energy thing. Uh, no, well maybe not, I don't know. It would be a different energy, you know? Like, Mike gets tired after about two and a half songs of playing drums and he's like, Oh, hold on, I just gotta check the internet, and like, oh, now I have to like, I better go get more sticks, or like, whatever excuse to not play drums, so. You can hear my phone. Um, <laughs> I can't. Uh, so, so probably, well, I mean, that's why we, like, we've come to this point where it's like, oh, we should have one practice, because it would be fun, maybe. That was fun, we should maybe have a show, like, yeah, that was, that was a good time, too. It's like, and then it like leaked or whatever that we were doing that doing this, and then uh, so we did a bunch of shows, and some of them didn't work out. And um, I think this is like the exact line where it's like, we go further. I am a guy named Davey in a band called Captain Jazz, and uh, that's an identity thing I don't want to deal with. So I think you know, it's just like we're not like we're in we're like musicians currently. So it's like we're doing music. Uh, it would be impossible to do this again in the same way. Mike, and, uh, Tim and Vicar and Joan of Arc, so they're like working together. Um, Sam does his own thing. Mike does his own thing. Like I just finished a Maritime record. Like we're still busy, so we're crazy busy. So to do another Captain Jazz record would be something else, you know. I have a great comment about it though. Okay, give it to us. We'd uh, love to hear it. My wife's my step father-in-law my wife's father is a crossword great crazy person like you can't you know like it's like you can talk to him before his morning coffee but not before his morning crossword kind of thing you know and he uh he does like seven of them every morning so he calls me at like 11 in the morning and he never calls me so he called me and he's like so i got and he, ne he always finishes them it's like he gets them all done he never has any blanks it's like you know so he's like, I got caught on one of the crosswords this morning. He's like, he's like, I already Googled it, so I know the answer. He's like, but what would you say for a, a three-letter musical genre for the 1997 album, Nothing Feels Good? And I was like, I know this one. <laughs> and of course it was emo, and he was laughing. Like, because yeah, he's like, I, don't, I didn't know it, and then I Googled Nothing Feels Good, realized that it was one of my records, and then he's like, I felt like such an asshole for like not knowing that it's like the first time in two years I haven't known the answer to one of these clues and it's actually something from inside his own family so he was like I don't know if this is like good news for your career that you're in crossword puzzles if that's like a county fair type of like equivalence or whatever but so emo what would you tell your teenage self from Captain Jazz now if you could 15 years ago like <laughs> what would you tell the old man uh, God, how much tape do we have? Um, <laughs> oh God, pretty. You know what? Like, 
you can't like explain like m m like maturing <laughs> to a teenager. So what I would say is like just whatever you do, stop wearing the ripped jeans with the sweater vests and like the weird like Doc Martin shoes. Like you look ridiculous. And I think it's a <laughs> I think it's a great look. But you <laughs> I think it's fine and I'm not backpedaling at all. But for me, like there's like a lot of things that ex accentuate my gayness. Nothing more than that out than that outfit that I've seen so many videos. Like, what am I doing? And it's like the fact that the jeans were like super punk, like ripped, like you know they could get up and walk away by themselves. But then I was wearing an argyle sweater vest. It's totally cool. Exposition. Right, totally. It's fashion. You can't explain this. So uh, that's what I would say. I was like, just wake wake up real quick. Stop. <laughs> Because I looked really foolish. You're not wearing the jeans anymore. I got them. <laughs> Obviously, I'm yeah. I'm wearing them. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah. That's awesome that I. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks. Yes, thank you.